Hey everybody, Johnny Gardner here with the Boston Terrier Society. This is Bella. In today's video, I wanna talk about do Boston Terriers drool? So I finally got Bella to set in my lap. She's been having a bit of an eye issue. We need to go get that checked out by the vet. I'm not sure what caused that. She was at the dog park and we just thought maybe it's something gotten in it, tried to flush it, but I don't know. Let me know in the comments below what you think could possibly be wrong with her eye. So on to Boston Terrier drooling. Sorry, Bella. There's really, Boston Terriers are not known to be big droolers. There's really only three reasons why your Boston Terrier might be drooling. Uh, the number one, if you've owned a Boston, food. They love to eat. Bella will literally drool puddles of water, or spit, whenever Sophia is trying to feed her, just because Sophia takes a little bit of time uh, to get the food in Bella's dish but Bella just waits there craving it. Uh, the next reason is exercise, and the third is teething. So before we get into all that, here's a quick video of Bella drooling just because she sees food. Sophia, you're gonna feed Bella? Or just mess with her? Look at all that drool. Just wait for it. Now, as far as exercise, just like any dog, if they're outside running around, they're going to need to try to cool down their body, and they're going to do that just with excessive panting, which is going to cause drooling. So that's a given. Uh, the next one is teething. Of course, whenever their baby teeth are falling out and everything, it's going to cause, just like a, a little child, it's going to cause excessive drooling as those new teeth come in. Really, there's only six things that you should be concerned about as far as excessive drooling. Um, in the article that I wrote on Boston Terrier Society, I just highlight these six. So broken and bad teeth, some type of object in their mouth, poison, poison ingestion, heat stroke, liver or kidney disease, and rabies. Rabies being my favorite. So that was a joke. Broken or bad teeth. This actually happened to us whenever Bella was about five years old. We used to keep her in a cage whenever we'd leave to go to work. Um, at first it was a cloth okay, or crate but the problem is she escaped the cloth one. Then we thought we'd be smart and get a metal one. The only issue was she fought and clawed to get out of that metal one to the point where she actually was missing some of her teeth. And we didn't know this for a while um, until we saw little teeth on the ground. But some of those teeth, it basically caused her gums to become inflamed and she was just drooling excessively. Um, we went to the vet to get her checked out and everything. The vet gave her some medication. I mean, it was five years ago, so I don't remember what the medication was, but about after a day or so, the drooling went away. My guess is just from the inflammation, just, you know, subsiding and going away. So bad teeth could be one reason, and you might need to get that checked out. So another, another reason, objects stuck in the mouth. You know, your body is naturally trying to secrete things to get that object out, so that's another reason. Poison ingestion. I mean, if your dog drinks anything that could possibly be poisonous, you need to call the vet or there is a hotline that you can call. Um, it's actually ran by the American Society for Prevention of Cruelty to Animals. Uh, this number, I would definitely write this down. It is 888-426-4435. If you think your dog has ingested poison, this phone number, um, you'll actually get somebody and they can walk you through steps to help your dog out, which is great. It's free and they specifically deal with animals. So once again, 888-426-4435. Uh, the next issue could be possibly a heat stroke. You know, whenever dogs get overheated, how do they cool themselves? The panting, and if it's gone too far, so you know, exercise, that's a natural way for your dogs to have that excessive drooling. But if it's gone to the point where they're almost feeling kind of woozy, walking around that could be a sign of heat stroke and they have that excessive foaming of the mouth drooling so you want to be careful with that and one of the last ones rabies the chances of your boston terrier getting rabies is slim to none i mean it's only going to happen to animals that are really outside and bostons are not outdoor animals so those are the six things uh liver and kidney disease i put that on there i, I found it on vetstreet.com I honestly don't know enough about liver or kidney disease, but that could be one of the issues. So drooling could be a sign of serious medical issues that you want to talk to a vet. 
But if you think the drooling's due to food, exercise, or you know, just being a puppy teething, you're safe. However, if it's excessive, you should always call your vet. When in doubt, call your vet. So hope this video kind of answered the questions. Sorry, I kind of rambled there for a little bit, but the article's on the Boston Terrier Society.com. If you just do forward slash Boston Terrier drool, that'll get you the article. And hope you like this video. If you want more videos like this about Boston Terriers, go ahead and click subscribe and more videos will be coming out. Um, I've also been putting on podcasts. So I have a podcast. If you just Google Boston Terrier Society podcast, you'll be able to find it. And I interview different people. I try to do one for sure once a month. Um, the last person I had on, uh, she's actually a masseuse and she massages dogs for a living. And Boston Terriers are great animals to basically have massages because Bella, she has a lot of hip issues now that she's older. So check out that podcast. And I'm also putting this on the YouTube channel. So hope you guys have a great day and talk to you guys later. Thanks. Bye.